it's Michelle and welcome back to another video on this channel. Now today is a bit of a different video. I feel like I say that like so much. I don't know what it is. I feel like I've just been putting out like I guess newer types of videos I guess but this is pretty much like along the same lines of something we have done previously on this channel but a little bit different in terms of the editing. So today we are playing some planet zoo as you can see and we are in our Masai Zoo which was part of our giraffe sanctuary franchise so it's the newer planet zoo series we've been doing here on this channel. I previously had another planet zoo series which I will link below and there's a whole playlist for that uh, but this is the newer one in which we're trying to build a really good looking zoo. Now I feel like I haven't played with this zoo for a while and um, I'm not gonna lie I feel like I've been improving my building not so much inside habitats I feel like I'm, I'm getting better at like building like guest facilities a little bit and just landscaping not like proper landscaping though because that's literally just the biggest nightmare in this game for me I hate landscaping so much um, but um, I didn't want to just kind of like start a brand new franchise I wanted to try and give this one a shot give it a go it's not bad looking like this is a pretty cool habitat I like it it's a, it's a little bit flat everything's very flat actually with the occasional like pond in every habitat so that's stuff we can go in and renovate but I wanted this to be an uncut series just to see like I don't know I just want to try it out because with Planet Zoo it like a lot of it is just kind of building but like I, I tend to not talk so I'm like oh it's gonna be a long video and it takes a while to do things so I thought why not give it a go trying to put out like I don't know 20 to 30 minute unedited Planet Zoo videos for this franchise series so I hope you kind of enjoy this uncut unedited Planet Zoo I don't know we'll see how it goes but right let's delve back into the Masai Zoo we'll see where we are what we're doing so we have um, a bunch of guest facilities. We have a little exhibit area. Oh, I remember this. We made this. I was so proud of this like little archway you thing. It's kind of cool. I like it. Um, okay, so we got that over there. And we have three main habitats. So we have our red ruffed. I'm going to play, by the way. Just get the ball rolling, get the money coming in. Um, so we've got our red ruffed lemurs, isn't it? Red ruffed? Yes, red ruffed. I always, I wasn't sure whether it was red ruffed or red muffed. I don't know why. Um, and they're okay. They need feeders though. There's an alert. Let's call the keeper. What alert is it? Uh, the, just the feeders. Okay, that's fine. So they're going to be given some food. I think last time, this used to be two habitats. We expanded it into one and made a new habitat over here. So over here, I think it's interspecies if I'm correct. We've got the springbok and the gazelles and I think they're okay. They're probably super stressed. That's something we had to deal with like previously. These animals aren't very um, kind of confident. So I think we're going to make more of these signs. That's something I'm gonna do. Uh, also, why have we got so many welfare issues already? Social, stress. Animals distressed and trying to hide. Have they got one way glass? Oh, maybe they're nervous. Okay, right, first things first, we're gonna make their habitat one-way glass I think maybe that's a good idea because it doesn't really affect um the guests that much they can still see through it's just the lemurs can't see that people are staring at them um that is the same glass I just did where is the one oh, we don't have one-way glass I forget we're not I've played in sandbox mode for so long that I forgot like we just don't have everything unlocked we're researching one-way glass I completely forgot about that okay that's fine. So what we might do, just to avoid the stress levels, if it is to do with guests staring at them, which is like completely understandable, um, we're going to get some of these signs. So they're just like, be quiet, please. Um, these guys are sensitive. Also, half of these barriers. Also, why are you all flocking here? Is this really the best place for you to be when there's like a habitat gate there? That's so ridiculous. Right, it's fine um there we go put some of these around uh, i was gonna say this habitat is just like super like jagged and stuff i think i'll definitely go in at some point and kind of just make little adjustments like that like making the habitat fit nicer along the path if i can things like that um and then there's these these guys who are just getting lots of attention so we'll give them a sign some lovely signs there's not that many people other than in this area so I could even just shot a new donation box in there there we go uh, we'll see if that helps reduce their stress 
Uh, if not, I'll look into it. We'll see if it's something else. But I do want to try and start building another habitat maybe today. So I think the next habitat would probably be here. So I'm probably just going to get started with that. If there's any problems like these that are just still happening. Injured animal? Spot fine? Who's injured? Oh, the stress is going down. I don't know if it's because social stress. It's not to do with the social group or anything. You've got low welfare because you're stressed. Oh, Christ. Animals are difficult, man. It's it's all stress things. Should we see what we're researching real quick? Uh, where is it? I think it's mechanical research. Also, I'm having a cup of tea whilst I do this, which is strange. Got a lovely Yorkshire tea with um, some oat milk in it. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> right. Um, Africa theme and barriers. So barriers should have theoretically fingers crossed um the uh, one-way glass and then i think that'll be fine i think we have unlocked some barriers i don't think it is the one-way glass this is a massive issue they are all super super stressed but like i don't i don't i don't know what to do like how how do i how how can i get them more coverage i probably can't because like otherwise i would have put more plants and things in i think they have enough hidey holes and stuff oh i don't know what to do about this i don't right let me have a look if we have the barriers if we've no we didn't because we we just looked so alternatively this is semi-transparent chain link that would probably make them feel a bit better and this maybe this is climbable though and then all of these are opaque so I mean, what we could do is we can have it like this where part of it is brick, but then I wanted this to be like viewable from all sides. So it kind of sucks if we have to do that. Oh, this is so tricky. This is so, so, so tricky. So you're stressed and you're trying to hide. Okay. It's weird because some of them are perfectly fine and some aren't. It's interesting. It's very interesting. Look, these guys should be being quiet. These guys should be being quiet. Uh, there's a oh no, there's an African dog that's about to die of old age. This is not a nice way to kick off like <laughs> this video, which is like loads of animals like not doing very well. Bless them. There we go. I'll do some more of these. There's not many people around here. I'm guessing it's because there's like nothing on this side. Uh, I think we'll do a habitat. It'll be really weird and long. We'll see, we'll see if we can um, change the shape of it according to that staff path back there. Um, oh god, that was not meant to go there. I'm like the queen of misplacing things. It's actually quite incredible. Okay, let's see if that helps. I mean, it's gone down a little bit. Are you okay? Oh, why are you squaring up? Oh, now you're not. Zakomo, what's going on there? I don't know why you're fighting your sibling, question mark? I don't know. Should we release some? Would that help? I don't know. Maybe. Let's have a look. So you're juvenile, so I can't release you. There's a lot of males. What about Boami? Bo Boami? Hello? You've got a little ball there. Can I release you? Oh, your your animal appeals high though. Um, and yours isn't as high. So I'm gonna release you to the wild. See if that makes a difference. There wasn't very many trade points though. That's something I have to consider. Um you have passed away sorry to hear that um are you not going to no destination is a vet not coming to get you rafiki hello i don't know okay interesting very interesting i don't know this is chaotic okay it's fine it's fine i think okay rather than building a new habitat just because this is already a mess i think i'm gonna have to just work on these guys and really try and make them less stressed so let's have a look you're stressed the, oh my god there's like hella gazelles there's so many okay i'm gonna release some of the gazelles and animals have been in a box for too long okay unbox there we go no unbox hello dude oh are you okay what's happening why are you walking through the animal? Guys! This zoo- Look, she's perfectly fine too. She's like, yep, just gonna take my notes. Hello? There's a- There's a, a poor passed away animal here. And people are running out of it. 
Maybe if we move this rock? Is that okay? Dude! What's happening with this? Do we have a vet here? We should have a vet. I am well confused. Help? <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. Oh my goodness. Right, back to these guys anyway. Oh god. Okay, we'll release some animals. Maybe, I don't know if that, I don't think it's going to help with the stress. Um, oh my god, we have loads of snakes. Oh god, the population is just out of control at this point. Okay, so we've got not that many spring box. Um, I think I'm going to release some of these girlies. Um, because we have quite a few girls. And we've got some babies as well. So if we release these guys to the wild. Oh dear. We can only release two of them. Interesting. Restrictive adoptive terms? Okay, we'll release these two. Not very many leaves because um, I, I don't think these guys are in the best shape. Which isn't good. Um, oh, maybe it's hard shelter. Maybe we need to get another one. Oh, please tell me this is going to solve our problems because that would be wonderful. We'll put another one here. Like this. And we'll see how that affects the animals. How do you feel about that? We can even get another one, actually. Okay, that's fine. We can get another one. Hard shelter number three. No, number four. Oh, no, we have loads of hard shelters. I was like, oh, yeah, we don't actually have that many. We have loads. Oh, my goodness. Right. Um, where can I put this hard shelter? Um, probably here. That's probably a nice idea. I will tuck it in here. Okay, and I will move this water pump because I understand that it is still there. And probably shouldn't be. Okay, let's have a look at that. How about that? You have some more hard shelters to kind of hide in. You've got social welfare issues, which are getting better. I'm not sure if it's because they move away from the glass or it's actually to do with me getting hard shelters. It's kind of hard to, to like determine. I'm still very much not an expert at this game. Um, oh dear. Died of old age. Okay, good. I thought it was going to be like died of stress and then I was going to be stressed, but it's fine. Also, I think that other, I think the African wild dog that passed got moved out. Yes. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, barrier statuses. Let's just double check some of these. I think there's a mechanic working on that one. That's fine. This one's all right as well. I, I really don't care about the views at the moment. Um, Multiple animals have low welfare issues. Oh, there's like bear snakes. Right, okay. <laughs> I need to release some of these snakes because there's just like way too many and I needed to, to keep an eye on that and I didn't. So I'm, I'm just gonna go crazy with this. So we'll have a girl and we'll, we'll have a boy and we'll send the rest. Oh, wait, what? Exhibit animals cannot be released in franchise mode. How do we do this then? Oh my goodness, center trade center, I guess. And then we'll put these guys on, on, on contraception, I think. Oh gosh, I forgot we can't really like trade these guys out. Uh, I don't know why that's a thing in franchise mode, but it just is. So I guess that's just something we have to keep an eye on. We're going to have to look at their, um, their age then to see like, make sure they don't die out or anything now i've got them all in here what can we do with them no animal storage trade center wait i sent them to the trade center so we can't get them back right is that what that meant i don't know i'm gonna try it again what have they gone where are they i'm confused oh exhibit trading <laughs> i was like where have they gone <laughs> Send to do oh quick trade okay amazing so we can like sell these guys i guess bam there we go i guess we can do something with them amazing cool don't i mean obviously i'd, I'd prefer to release them to the world but you can't do that with ex exhibit animals so i mean that it is what it is i guess that's fine okay <gasps> vet research red rough levers Le levers lemurs please oh <gasps> barriers okay no it's just telling me themes i'm confused oh my glass no what did we get electric i don't want electric fencing that's messed up man <laughs> i don't want that right okay we're, we're still getting the barriers done that's fine we're also doing the africa theme oh in the meantime i got the aquatic dlc which is super exciting it's like the newer one i got it gifted by a friend on twitch which is really really sweet um 
but yeah i i still haven't really decided what the theme for this is going to be it is um uh, like the Masai Zoo is meant to be in africa so i think we're gonna go for this and like redesign all the huts and even these like i'm not really happy with what these look like i may just spend like one video of this series literally just kind of going through and and designing i don't know i guess you guys can let me know if you'd prefer me to design throughout an episode whilst i do other like animal management stuff um or you'd prefer it on its own because i did have episodes episodes i always call these episodes of this where it was just kind of renovating like speed building and i'm not sure if i like that because i do want to make it all kind of uncut i don't know we shall see we shall see so let's have a look oh okay these animals don't seem too stressed anymore i've jinxed it but i think it's fine uh you're injured my dear so you should probably get about <laughs> that's probably a good idea um okay is there anything else i really did want to get started on a, a new habitat but like we we have many uh animal problems which kind of sucks oh hello nikki i'll say hello and I, I think i get some some rewards from that which is always good always good uh what is the time i've been going for 16 minutes not too bad what i might do just to see if you guys can get a feel for like the building side of this i guess um maybe we should redesign these i'm not sure i'm not sure just because i think the next step would be building a new habitat but i want to like spend a lot of time doing that so let's just edit some of these a little bit so what i'm going to do is instead of like disrupting one of these i guess no i can i can i can uh, do we want to leave it running i don't know if we do want to leave it running that needs repairing Put the mechanic on it oh hang on a minute have we even got work zones in the zoo it's been a while i can't even remember we do amazing um and they're all covered with what they need to be i think that's brilliant okay i'm glad i i had that sorted out right okay so gold p let us edit this group uh, i'm gonna get rid of this because that is just not a look uh, I see I was going for something kind of cool, but um, I don't know if it did turn out cool. Um, get rid of that and get rid of this as well. I'm loving the, like, the Disney music that sounds like is going on. Right. Okay, we'll get rid of this as well. Don't know why I did that and that and that. <laughs> right, let's have a look. And um, I should have checked what we've unlocked in terms of construction because maybe the reason why I used these is because there wasn't much else but there should be some stuff from yes there is amazing so these mud walls and things i think that's what i'm gonna go for in terms of the look of this place which means maybe moving these logs i don't know well, so what's the difference arch tunnel arch tunnel base what is the difference i can't really tell the difference but we're gonna put one of these in anyway oh i like it it's kind of cool um and then back here we're gonna need a panel actually why do i do it with an arch do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it properly so we're gonna have a wall here we are going to have going to going to, going to have a, another wall here beautiful and then we should have mm, there's a certain piece it's like these pieces i think we are meant to be using like this <gasps> that is so cute wait oh my god i love it it's so cute i love it i love it i love it now oh, i don't know if i like it with these wooden bits i don't know if i want it without it adds something structurally so there's that um also i'm gonna filter it by the african theme just so it's easier oh my goodness these are so cool so we could like make our own little hot things but i think i'm gonna keep it like this um or this oh that's interesting that's if we like make larger one there's these ones i think we're gonna go with that that seems like the best idea although it doesn't look like it fits properly does it not maybe it needs a trimming i think it needs a trimming maybe oh <gasps> wait and then we can do this oh my goodness right the logs are going we can always bring back the logs at some point but for now we're yeeting these logs out of here and then we can do this like this i guess right 
which is which is cool. And then, oh god. Oh wow! Look at this. That is interesting. I feel like I kind of like that. It'd be really hard for anyone to see what like what what is there, but I kind of like it. I don't know what else to do for trimming. There are roof trims, but I don't know. There's this one, which we can we can put there. I guess that that works. Uh, and then we got Golpy on the back. I don't know if I like these signs all over the place. So maybe we delete the one in the back. We're gonna do windows and things like that, I think, as well. But for now, let's just fix some of these. There we go. I think that's fine. And then place it there. It kind of clips there, so I'm gonna go with it. And we're gonna duplicate the exact same one to get the same angle and everything. There we go. That's decent. Yeah, I mean, I think this works. I think this works quite well. Uh, I don't know if I want to... Does that work? I think for now, that's a nice shell. I do I do think that's a nice shell. Um, if there's any windows, we can add them now. You can even have like a door at the back. Just... Oh, that is not meant to do that. That's not meant to do that. That is not meant to be there. Um, is there any other doors? Why did that clip and now it doesn't? I like that it was clipping. It seemed really handy. How about these? I'll put these on the back so it looks like the staff get in from somewhere. Uh, just adds a bit of realism, I guess. There we go. I'll turn it around. That is just not straight up, really, I don't think. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's doing it again. Okay. Guess we do that. It's like not on there, so we will need to like whoop. and then maybe put it on like that and then I'm gonna move it. Oh god. Oh god. No. We'll, we'll move it like, like, no? Like that. No, not like that. <laughs> like this. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is such a faff to build. I'm so in awe actually with this game with how amazing people are at building. Like I've seen videos and pictures of these immaculate, like really detailed builds that people spent a while on um, and they look amazing. I really hope one day I can be like that with Planet Zoo. I feel like I'm getting there with Sims. Um, that does not look straight, does it? Is that just me? Oh, like that. I think this isn't even because it's not meant to look even and maybe that's what's throwing me off i guess um i don't really know also i don't know if i want to push it in maybe a bit like that okay cool and then window wise i don't even know we won't do a window for now but this is kind of cool Golpy, what are you saying guess happiness really busy we're gonna have to get another one i think what about um scenery Gulpy. Hello? Scenery 76. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, okay. I like that. So I guess we're just going to kind of copy and paste them to like Chief Beef and stuff. So I'm going to duplicate this. And we're going to put it over here for a second. Then we're going to get rid of the Gulpy inside. And we are going to get rid of this sign and this sign this sign and this sign and then this should be able to be a blueprint which is very handy uh so let me just save this blueprint i never actually put any of these in the workshop these these blueprints also it's it's raining it's kind of naff there we go it looks kind of cute <laughs> i don't know why i like it so much uh what should we call it um african style shop shell uh and then i'm just gonna do that and then we'll tag it for shop shelves. Bam! <gasps> Beautiful! Okay, so now what we should be able to do is we strip naked <laughs> this um, chief beef. And we literally should be able to just move the shell down onto it. I don't know if it's going to be that seamless, but we can give it a go. So we're going to get rid of these like so my eyes are just all over the screen right now ah right get rid of this log get rid of these as well i think that's all of it then we are going to take this 
I want to add it to the same group. It's not really letting me. Um, oh, hang on. We take this. Um, we move this. And then we... I don't know how to add it to the group. <gasps> oh, no. Chief Beef, can I add you? No? Wait, that's the whole the whole shebang. Uh, exit. Add to group. There we go. There we go. Then we exit and we move this whole group i guess over here and then okay we'll put it here and then we'll have to adjust the signs and everything all of these people are going to be hella confused now <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i disrupted your your chief beefiness there you go you should still be able to um to shop here i think hang on we'll, we'll move it a little bit in like this there we go there's no vendor here but i assure you there will be a vendor here soon hopefully fingers crossed right um then we are going to move all of these oh there we go it just snaps i like this snapping um there's also like a hidden one in here i think i've i've put aha there you are <laughs> i knew it was somewhere there we go um there you go that works uh we are gonna have to move them in though because they kind of clip and then they don't really clip. But there we go. Do another one. Beautiful. And then, where's the... Hello? You in here? Aha! You are in here. Get out of here. There we go. Beautiful. And then this actually is also flying a little bit. So we do need to push it down. But there we go. Chief Beef, done. Gulpy also probably will have a slightly floating sign. So let us move that down here a little bit. There we go. <gasps> I think these look lovely. I really like these. Got our Chief Beef, got our other thing. Um, these paths do need to be changed though slightly. There we go. We do need a vendor here though. How, how can I get a vendor to come here? Hello? synchronize all costs that's important as well is there someone coming here i don't know we should get one more vendor oh beautiful and all of our vendors are in the same work zone i think work zone two so we'll just put you in work zone two there we go chief beef is up and running amazing very very nice um so we're hitting the 30 minute mark now so i'm going to leave this um i think I'll, I'll not do anything off camera i don't think like in terms of copying pasting these all around to these places because we've only got like two more and this one i guess and then we'll do the toilets and stuff even i think the exhibits we're going to change into like this style which i think will be fun um so we will do that in the next video uh we have an animal that died of old age so we'll just call the vet on that and then we actually have successfully increased our spring book education rating to five percent which i feel like adjusting the education rating for animals i really struggle with so i'm really happy we did that really good um i think we'll also wrap up by always having a nice overview at our zoo if i remember so ticket prices i think are okay the guest happiness is decent could be a lot better staff are super happy though which is really good our overall uh, reputation is really good conservation is great so is guest happiness we haven't done any marking animal rating and guest education is decent um hunger and thirst need to be worked on and education people are really upset about the zoo being small and that it's raining which is fine uh we have some vandalism and then we're making profit which is really good and we have for the past two years which is amazing so very very good but yeah that's pretty much it for today's episode of this uncut unedited planet zoo franchise series of the giraffe sanctuary i hope you guys are enjoying it and if you did like the video please do give it a thumbs up and let me know what other videos you would like to see on this channel also feel free to subscribe to stay tuned for videos every saturday uh, and that's pretty much it guys also i know some of you may be waiting for the 1000 subscriber special video it is coming soon i think hopefully it will be out next week and we will be premiering it live so make sure you stay tuned check the community page and turn notifications on and all of that good stuff but that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.